garden. So I cut up a little bit of And then a little bit of green leaf lettuce. And then some tortoise chow pellets. And then we always sprinkle um, calcium powder on them from Calgary Calcium Supplement. And then they also have um, their choice of hay. <laughs> which are native to um, Sub-Saharan Africa. And in the wild they live in like scrubby grasslands where mostly eat grass and some succulents. Um, barely ever drink water. They get most of their water from eating. And they can actually go a really long time without eating more drinking. Did they get fed once a day? So they get a little greens once a day, and then I'll leave a little pile of hay here, and they kind of like eat on throughout the day, little by little. I think that they share the book. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have been an accident. <laughs> How old are they? <laughs> um, I'm actually not totally sure because they were at a different. Oh. Someone had them as a pet before they were here. Um, now, are these things that you can buy in pet stores? No, or, they're not okay. available in most pet stores. I believe they can be pets in certain places. Um, but if you were considering any, any type of toys for pet, I definitely recommend doing your research because. They eat a lot, they're very messy, and they live a very, very, very long time. Yeah. Um, and some of them can be kind of destructive, like the sulcatas. Like, there's a good reason why we need them Tank and Dozer. <laughs> they kind of stomp around and kind of like push through areas that they're not supposed to get into. So a lot of times people actually end up getting tortoises or even water turtles as pets, and then they need to find a new home for them. Um, it happens with red and slider turtles a lot. Of their water, they can live for over 60 years. Um, so it's just like a lot to take care of for a long time. So it's good to always do your research before you <laughs> And these guys, yeah, they like to just like walk right in their bowl as they eat. <laughs> I know. How old 
with you? Um, I'm not really sure exactly. I know he was a pet at Brian's house for a mm. while. Yeah. He likes to hang out on the rock wall. <laughs> yeah. It might be nice and warm there. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep. typically live for uh, 10 years. Ten, yeah. yeah. I I've seen some live like your early teens. <laughs> But they're native to southwestern United States, um, the Sonoran Desert, which is what this background is. Actually, my favorite background of all the backgrounds we have. <laughs> <laughs> and they are one of only two, I believe, venomous lizards. So okay. One is the beaded lizard. Yeah, she did say that about that. Yeah. Huh. Do you know where he got these from? Oh, cool. And then they acquired some research and they were So, at first, they kind of resemble a snake, mm -hmm. but you'll notice a few things that are different about them than snakes. One is this, like, ridge on their body here. Um, another is that they have eyelids, whereas snakes do not. That's cool. And these guys are found in um, Eastern Europe? Do you have these stuff? Yes, I believe so. What do they eat? Uh, mostly insects. We feed them cockroaches, mealworms, once in a while pinky mouse. But they're pretty much carnivorous. In the wild, they actually specialize in eating snails. They come out after it rains. Oh, wow. <laughs> they break through the snail shell. It's one of their favorite things to eat. Is there a reason why they have the ridge, or is it just something unique about them? Um, that they just have? You know what? I'm actually not sure, but it's an excellent question. I'll have to look into it. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. I was just curious. Yeah. That is cool, though. I've never noticed that about them before. No, yeah, that is very really cool. And you can also see their ear holes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where the snake usually goes through. That's cool. Not a gas card. Day, day day geckos. <laughs> wow, it's a tongue twister. Tongue twister. <laughs> One's up here. Oh, okay. One is in the back bottom, and there is a third. Sometimes it's, it takes a while oh, to find all of them. on the wall. There you go. You blend right in. Mm -hmm. So as their name um, reveals, they're from Madagascar, yep. which is an island off of Africa. Um, and they are one of the largest geckos and they have those special um, hair-like structures on their feet which allow them to adhere to smooth surfaces. That's why you see them climbing up and down the walls and the window. Um, unfortunately, one of their favorite spots to poop is on the window. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be clean today. Um, and they eat insects every other day and the days in between I give them a cricket of um, like a soft fruit mixture. Sometimes it comes as a powder mix. You'll see in that dish add water to it, but it has like banana or mango in it. It's cool. like that they really like. Do you actually have to go in there and clean through it? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> it's a little tricky, yeah. but I've kind of got a, got a system down now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a good workout, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> gotta be a really small person doing it. And he 
is still getting used to people, so sometimes he's a little shy. Um, they're also found in Madagascar in the wild. They eat all kinds of insects. We usually feed him crickets. And just like all their chameleons, he has that really fast tongue yep. that'll shoot out to catch the crickets. And he does have color changing abilities. Yeah, his arms and stuff are Is there a spider in here? Yeah. Yeah, all or most of our exhibits are bioactive, so we have live plants and we also have um, live little insects that help clean and keep it like a living ecosystem. And so um, sometimes there'll be spiders, which will actually help control some like the fruit flies and stuff that get in there. Okay. That's pretty cool. How long does, do chameleons live for? They have. About? Um, a relatively short lifespan compared okay. to a lot of other lizards. Um, it might depend on the species, but I know a lot of them really only live like three to five years. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. And um, another neat thing about them is their eye sockets can move independently, so they can be like looking yeah. different ways at the same time. <laughs> and they have this, what's called the zygodactyl feet, so their toes, um, they have a few in front, a couple in front, and a couple in back, and with chameleons, they're actually fused together, and that's mm -hmm. a special adaptation for climbing trees. Other animals that have psychodactyl feet would be like woodpeckers and parrots. Oh, wow. Okay. Check you out. Yeah, yeah like unfortunately it dropped half of its leaves, but it seems to be it, yeah. growing back new ones. Yeah. We just added some special plant lights to help um, oh, cool. some of the live plants. We realized that the lights that the reptiles need aren't always the same ones that the plants yeah, need. Really cool camouflage. They basically look like dead, rotting leaves in the bottom of, of the water. They're a freshwater turtle. I don't even see that one. Um, I believe Southeast Asia. And I actually have food for them, so if you want to watch them. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, they're getting fish today. Ooh. Yummy. Mm -hmm. We're going to eat them, so um, probably this side would be the best viewing, and okay. it can happen really, really fast. Okay. Yeah, so don't blink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these are called the bottom ones? Yes. Do not blink. Do you have a good hood? The hood is fine. Is it from both of them? I thought it was just like a leaf for It's their head. <laughs> it's like they knew we were watching. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. <laughs> Alright, so Will they eat the fish in there with them? Um, sometimes they'll eat live fish. Usually, if they're bigger, they seem to not bother with the little ones. Yeah, Take a look at Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Are you ready for your roommate? Brenda is cool. <laughs> <laughs> 